Right, so hey guys, what's going on? My name is Bipax, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an overlay for Twitch. So what you want to do is create a new project, 920 by 1080 with a transparent background, I'm, and like I say, it's a Twitch overlay. It can also be used for YouTube, which is good. So, when you make your new document, I don't know why I left all of this, this in, but I did, because I'm editing my video. And then what you want to do is go to the rectangle tool. You don't necessarily have to do it as long as I did, but I didn't think of the later method when I did. So you want to have a black fill and a no stroke. So you don't like I say you don't need it to be long, you want it to be like half of that length. But yeah. And then go on to the so you want to center it which could be a good idea and then you want to go to the polygonal lasso tool once it scrolls past so go to the polygonal lasso tool click in the top corner hold shift go to the bottom if you hold shift it gets a perfect angle and then you click click and then you join it up and then you need to m you I pressed delete, you're not realising that I needed to rasterize the layer. So you rasterize the layer and then press the delete key on your keyboard and then control D and then you find a good spot where you want to cut it. Hold shift and go straight down because then it's a straight line. Shift basically just makes it sh straight, it goes 90 degrees, 180 degrees and 45 degrees. And then you want to press control G A and then on the top one, flip horizontally I think it was and then you just slide it across you can choose this is where you can choose how long you want it to be without messing up the angles and then you put them together and then press the tick and then you can press shift and click on them both and then press control E on Windows and I don't know what the Mac one is and then center it up and then I'm gonna use a texture pack from a youtuber known as visual arts i will leave a link to his channel in the description all credit is given to him for using this pack which is the texture pack too you can use any texture pack you wish but i chose to use this one so then what you do is you turn the layer on and drag it onto your overlay document and then choose about whereabouts you want it to be on your overlay i apologize if i'm clipping because i'm using my iphone 5's audio because i don't have my microphone on. press the tick and then you right click and create clipping mask and then you go through and choose all the other ones you want so I wanted this one as well so I right clicked and made a clipping mask and then on the blending options I changed it to overlay you can use any of like layer thing you want but I chose to use overlay and then yeah I used overlay on a while you can use soft light as well or screen depending on your preference and then I centered it up. I turned the layers off because I wanted to put my logo in. I sh you can use any any shape you wish. I chose to use a rectangle. I should have used a circle because my logo is more circular than it is rectangular. But it doesn't really matter. And then, so I like to say I made a rectangle. And then I didn't realize that it was a clipping mask. So I released the clipping mask by right clicking on that layer. Centered it up. And then, I don't know why I moved it up. But you can use the arrow keys to position it as well. And then I joined the two of them layers together and then made the clipping mask. So then it was on both of them and not just the background bar. And then I dragged in my logo, which is in my feature frequently used graphics. And then I chose to use my white logo because you want to really notice this in black. You can use, you think, can be any colour. You can also change the hue saturation, which I didn't do because it was blue and that's the way I liked it. If you want to change the hue saturation, you can go to adjustments and then it's the hue saturation one. You can probably also pay people to do this for you. I'm not a graphics designer. I might be. Well, I do make channel arts and stuff for people, but I'm not good at it. So, yeah. And reposition it. And then I brought down a root, a marker thing. I don't know how they're actually called. I think they're called guidelines. And by clicking on the rulers, you don't have rulers, press Control R, and then I centered up my logo to the document. 
and then I used a pack that I made which I'm going to put a link to in the description well I didn't make it I just well, I did but <laughs> and then I clicked on twitch for some reason even though I'm making the overlay for twitch so they're going to know what my twitch is which is a bit stupid of me I really wanted twitter but I read it wrong which was not a clever idea and I centered that up and then I removed the layer style because it had layer styles on it for some reason it's been a while since I made this pack, I've just not released it. Because I've never had the need to. And then I pressed control I selected both the back like the background layers with the thing on. The reason there's a black layer there is because I wanted it to be slightly darker and then I joined it all together, but I didn't join the black layer to it. So then what you do is you go to the te pen tool the text tool. By the way the audio's probably not going to be in sync because of the fact that I'm doing it after and I'm watching the video but so it's typing and I typed it wrong even though I don't know how you can spell your own name wrong and then it's like baby hacks underscore media but I didn't put the X in and then when I typed in media you didn't see it because it went off the screen which I think it should the screen should follow where you type in and then I changed the front from aerial regular to aerial black and then press the tick so that where my sync point is. And then I grouped them together and then I centered it to this portion. Now you do the same for the other social medias that you wish. So as you can see I put my YouTube on because this is a Twitch overlay for Twitch. If you don't know what my Twitch is it's in the description and I rarely stream on it but I do every now and again but I'm getting better internet soon. In fact, when you're watching this, I will have, I should have better internet, so I might be able to stream maybe every week, but I'm not promising anything. And then I decided, let's put the, what's his name on? The face cam border, because you want to have your face on Twitch, otherwise people are just like, oh, this guy's a solo. And I put 1280 by 720 because that's most likely to be the size of your webcam. Now the reason I'm doing it like that is because of the fact that you can resize it and keep it the same proportions so then it doesn't go all weird and then you have put the stroke on the outside and then you change the size of the stroke and then you follow the same method that we did to put the things on the bar like the background thing for this so if you press shift when you press ctrl t and then shift and all on windows I don't know what it is for Mac and then this is where you do the same process which I didn't show in the video. So now I'm going to show you the final product. So as you can see on the screen I have the final product with a face cam and its thing on it. You could also put a background onto it if you wish. If as you can see there is the thing from the slow-mo video which Tim absolutely annihilated that battle and a picture that I took so because I don't let my hair. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy, please let me know by leaving a big fat like on it. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. So, yeah, I'm BB Hacks, and I am signing off.